Do, do black women think that they're better than black men? I'm going to say, yeah. Mm. Why is that? Yeah. I don't know. I, I think, well, I think currently, like a lot of black women are like focused on their careers and they're climbing and they're having financial upward mobility. Um, and you know, that, you know, the whole like being independent and I can do it myself thing, I think has inflated the, the ego. not being able to apologize is a major red flag because from my experience when someone can't apologize to you that means that they think they're better than you and apologizing is a humbling experience and who wants to be humbled by somebody that they think they're better than? this could be in a relationship which i find to be true women a lot of times they get in a relationship and they say i'm never going to apologize to the men because they've been trained to think they're always right and men are always wrong in relationships so things should be catered to them so when they do have to apologize it eats at them they don't want to do it because it's too humbling and if they think they're better than the man why would they apologize to him and a lot of times when a woman does have to apologize it's coming with revenge mm. she's going to want to get it back she wants to apologize, but you know what? She's going to bring up something. She's going to find something to her where you got to apologize five times harder. Are you, she are you find saying, something, are you I saying, guarantee it. She comes. You, you saying that she's going to evade accountability at all costs? She's she, 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 she going to apologize. She may apologize. If you just got her dead and ain't nothing she could do, she's going to apologize. But it's humbling and it hurt her. So you better believe she's coming for you. If she <laughs> apologize, she's going to find something you did it could be the most pettiest stupidest stuff you left your shirt on the ground and i'm just oh i'm tired of cleaning up after you and like i just got home and she gonna be on you about the dumbest stuff because she wanted back she don't like being humbled by somebody that she thinks she's better than and i think women need to maybe take that in consideration why they're not apologizing why they have a hard time apologizing is it because you think you're better than your man or you're better than your kids, I apologize to anybody. The, the woman I'm with now is the first woman I ever had that apologizes to me when she does something wrong. And when she does, it's confusing. So I'm like, what? Like, you just don't, you sure? just don't, it's so, uh, just, hold, 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 just hold, hold, bro. Hold on, Simon. Hold on. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me, let me swing it over to Bree. Bree, go ahead. Yeah. Jump in. After you weigh in, Bree, I need you to do me a favor. Do you think that black women think that they are better than black men? Okay. Um, well, as a person who just generally doesn't like apologizing, I have no shame in saying that. Um, one is because I feel like I'm sorry is are empty. I feel like a lot of people just say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And then they just like keep doing it kind of like the forgiveness at the altar on Sunday. So I have a kind of a negative take on like somebody saying, say, I'm sorry. So I kind of say, forgive me in my language just to like um, explain it. And I used to be a nurse as well. And um, in like compassionate care, like if somebody's going through something, I'm sorry, it's very like empty. You try to empathize with them and understand and serve what they need. And so for my husband, like the hardest part, the thing that makes it hard for me to, to apologize sometimes is a lot of times we're not having like egregious things because we're married. We've known each other for like a lot, like 18 years almost now. And so like it's usually a perspective thing. Like if something I did just made him feel a way, it's like intent versus impact. Even though my intent wasn't to do something, it impacted him in a way. And so he's calling me out on it. And because I don't like that feels bad to me, like, oh, I wasn't meaning it that I wasn't meaning it that way. And so a lot of time I just have to humble myself to accept his perspective that that hurt me or I didn't like that. And mm -hmm. so that's something I've learned over the years. But that doesn't mean it's easy because it almost feels like you're saying, I tried to do this wrong thing, but I always know that's not where I was coming from. So that's kind of where my, my struggle with it is now. Like, that's okay. why it's still hard. All right. And the second part of that question, do, do black women think that they're better than black men? I'm going to say yeah. I'm going to say yeah. Mm. Why is that? Yeah. I don't know. I, I think, well, I think currently, 
like a lot of black women are like focused on their careers and they're climbing they're having financial upward mobility um and you know that you know the whole like being independent and i can do it myself thing i think has inflated the the ego especially when you look at your counterparts and you're like well they're not doing it and they're not this and that so i think if you just look at it as a whole like i think a lot of black women feel like we've climbed to a certain point and like we don't need them and to me that equates to being like i'm better than you or you don't offer anything mm, paris you're shaking your head what, what do you do you agree yeah, I do think that that's the mentality across the board now, because when you're telling somebody you don't need them, you're essentially saying that they can't contribute anything to you, that they can't add to you. You've already fulfilled everything. And I also think that um, this mentality is kind of like going to be consistently embedded um, yep. throughout the next couple generations, especially when you have a repeated cycle of women looking more so to the women's empowerment and we're trying to propagate this idea that we're the only ones who feel each other we're the only ones who have the certain type of oppression we're the only ones who are um safe with each other which we know is not true and then too you have a lot of black men who are now becoming more active fathers and up in those numbers but their mentality is that of Simon's and all you're doing is actually like teaching your daughters to push away from the men. 